welcome back to another Era Quinn Caledra Monster Mash. This time we've got, yeah, we're actually deep into the elimination rounds. Right now we're into the quarterfinals. This time, as you can see, we're pitting Gwai here up against Gulivar. And episode 13 explains how we got here, explains what the Monster Mash is all about, and how we paired up the round robins and the elimination rounds and all the fun we've had up to this point. There's a whole series of these videos. I think this is mid-20s already. Uh, but we're having a lot of fun. So today we're going to pit... Gwai here and Gulivar in a death match. This is going to be the best of three elimination round. I'm going to show you their dice, we'll show you the models, we'll show you the profiles, we'll talk briefly through their rules, and then we'll duke it out and see who wins. Estenes, any thoughts for us? Uh, I think we can dive straight into uh, the models and the dice first. Well, let's do that. Dice are easy, so we'll get those out of the way. This is a custom die that we put together. It's from Chessex. You can't see that, sorry for the blur. It's called Lustrous Sleet. It's a really slick blue and steel kind of a blend color and we put some custom eagle logos on the number six side there's the one just to prove it and really really happy with how these turned out luster slate really nice pattern from chessex really appropriate for misty mountains so we did that gulliver being the sort of dragony demon that he is we got him and you see that this is called phantom smoke and um, just a really nice blend of smoky grayish colors very suitable for an Ice Demon of the North. And he's got a custom dragon logo on there, and then we've got um, Ice Wolves, because, of course, there's lots of wolves, or orgs, as they may be, up in Angmar. So, and this is the uh, Gemini Blue Steel, is the name of that pattern. So lots of great custom dice from um, Chessex. So we enjoy customizing our dice and getting them through Chessex. They treat us well, and they, uh, they balance well, and they play well. Uh, we get just as many ones as sixes, so we have been really successful with these no concerns about their quality and we're going to put those off to the sides for now we enjoy rolling custom dice it just adds some fun to the game all right this is my guai here model this is just one of the two eagles out of the eagle two pack um, the guai here model is pretty much the same it's got the head from the other eagle and the feet from this one it's a really clever blend i love it and i'm going to get it one of these days but for now this works great now we customized the base on that. It's just a standard 60 mil base from GW. We uh, we use the washers to make it easier to transport. We have magnetic cases we travel with. And on that base, I've just put a bunch of chunks of cork. Uh, glued on top of the cork is some gravel. We've got some snow effects from Games Workshop. It's just gray with some dry brushing. Makes a really nice, sharp looking base, especially for a snowy mountainous kind of a terrain. And a little bit of water effect poured in there from um, Woodland Scenics down in the middle just to make a bit of a snowy river on the top of the mountain so really happy with how that model turned out i'm not the best craftsman out there but i have some fun at gulivar we went for an icy theme you can find the pictures on the games workshop website of some beautifully well painted gulivar uh, of a beautifully well painted gulivar i wanted mine to look like an ice demon so i painted him up icy themed and for his base just again some gravelly snowy misty flavoring going on there a little bit of uh, water effect poured down into the bottom and dry brushed up to make it look icy and the mist is just stuffing from an old doll that was going to go to the garbage i have a bunch of young kids estinus is the oldest um the others are younger so we had lots of toys going to the garbage we just pulled the stuffing out of one of them before we got rid of it so should we take a look at the profiles sure thing these models are a lot of fun to play they come from a couple of great factions so we'll start with the misty mountains with the eagles quite here Here's Gwai here. He was seriously revamped in the new edition of the rules. He much is much improved. better. Oh, he yeah. used to be a terrible model to play. I loved him and I would play him because I loved him, but he was not effective. So they fixed that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, three inch move. He does have the fly special rule, so he can basically move 12 inches. Three inches on foot, which I don't know why you'd ever do that unless but, you're going like inside yeah, of a room or a building or whatever. Yeah, and that's the only time you'd ever do it is to move inside some kind of a rough terrain, in which case you're moving half of three inches. The only benefit to that is that he's now allowed. It used to be that he couldn't even land inside buildings or yeah. inside forests or things. Now he can walk in, but with severe movement penalty. Um, fight 8, that is something he's carried over from the old edition. It puts him higher than even like the best heroes from most factions. Uh, strength 6, he does have his faction bonus, so he will be getting plus 1 strength on the charge. Still not enough to knock down Gulivar, though. Uh, defense 8, 2 attacks, plus 1 on the charge because of Monstrous Charge. Uh, 3 wounds, Courage 6, 3 might, 3 will, 3 fate. Uh, he does have Heroic Strike, which is basically like the key heroic in this monster mash, although he will not need to use it in this particular match because he has a higher fight value than Gulivar, and Gulivar himself cannot strike. Uh, heroic Strength and Defense. 
And he does have terror, of course, because he is a monster. Lord of the Eagles, doesn't matter. It's a standfast related stuff, and obviously there are no other models in this match. Yep, so that's pretty clean and easy. Heroic Strength, uh, Heroic Strike, quick comment. Because he's fight 8, Heroic Strike means he can outfight like literally everything in the game. He can fairly easily get up to that fight 10 if he rolls off a Heroic Strike. So that's a big deal for him, but that makes sense. As the Lord of the Eagles, the Eagles are known for being pretty feisty and fierce, and that just suits his profile so well. That was great to see that they kept that on him. Heroic Strength, I've never used. Remind me how this one works. You spend a might, you roll a dice. Is it D3 or D6? Uh, it's D3, which actually, it might actually be useful if it increases his strength value, and then that would allow him to knock down Gulivar. That's true, which could be the end of Gulivar. Effectively in one turn. Yeah. Ah, but we'll These get to Gulivar These guys can both one-turn each other. This would be a really interesting battle. Heroic Defense means that your opponent has to roll natural sixes to wound you regardless of their strength value. If they, excuse me, if they had to roll higher than sixes, if it was a six by four, six by five, six by six, then they're required to roll natural sixes on every die roll. So if they're rolling less than six to wound you, heroic defense means no, they're not. They have to roll a six. If they're rolling more than a six, no, they're not. They're rolling a six by six in order to wound all natural sixes. So and they're defense, not allowed to might any of their dice rolls. That's right. It's got to be natural. So heroic defense is really nasty when it comes to endurance and adding endurance to a monster like Gulliver. And that is going to be a key part of how he plays every single one of these matches. If you check yep. back before, that is how he has survived this far. Um, six inch move, which is interesting. It means he can actually, well, he has legs, I guess. He doesn't have talents. He's got actual legs. Uh, fight seven puts him on par or higher than most heroes. Cannot heroic strike, so that is a little unfortunate. Strength eight, that is insane. There are only like three monsters in the game that have strength eight. Defense five, though, is a massive caveat. He will mostly die to archery before lines ever meet. Uh, he's got four wounds, and because of his strength of body, strength of will, he has the same courage and attack value as his wounds. So effectively, at full strength, he has four attacks, which is insane. But Plus then every time... Charge. Exactly, because he does have monstrous charge. And with that strength eight, he will be knocking down basically everything in the game. And at fight seven, it is basically everything in the game. Four dice plus one on the charge. He's going to win most of his fights until he gets up against really big nasty heroes or go here. And then <laughs> and then you're dealing with ten strength eight strikes, which should be enough to kill basically anything. Um, he has three might and three will, no fate, unfortunately. Uh, heroic strength and defense, no strike for whatever reason, so he is stuck at that fight seven, which in Angmar isn't an issue because they have so much casting, but here he is stuck and isolated by himself. Heroic defense, obviously we've talked about this, this is a key part of his strategy, usually all three of his might is spent on heroic defenses. He does have fly, so he can go up 12 inches instead of a six if he so chooses. Uh, resistant to magic, not going to come into play. Terror with Harbinger of Evil. So Gwai here will effectively be Courage 5 instead of Courage 6. And then he has Immortal Hunger, which won't come into play, but it is a key part of how he plays in point match games. Yeah, so speaking as one who's played him, I've used Gulivar in point match games. And Aston has pointed out earlier that the uh, key vulnerability here is Archery. Obviously not in monster matches, but when you use him in point match games, Gulivar is an infantry wrecker. And that's what you often want to end up doing with them. You fly around, use heroic combats to get into the line somewhere and eat a bunch of things so you get your wounds back. And then fly behind the line and eat a bunch more things and get your wounds back. And just fly around and eat things that are worth victory points. Eating banners, eating smaller heroes. He's a beast. And at fight seven, that just really, really tears up through most armies. So he's a troublemaker, but a really good one. Um, today, he's got his hands full, though, when we pit him up against... Quite here. So let's see what the Lord of the Misty Mountains and the Lord of the Eagles is going to do to the Demon of Angmar. We'll get these guys set up and ready to go. Any final thoughts before we roll some dice here, Estinus? I think we are good to go. 12 um, inches to start them off. Which, they're both within charge range, so basically after whoever rolls priority, we're just going to like move them to the center. Yeah, but we don't have any throw stones or anything crazy like that that we're going to deal with. Exactly. So yes, for the sake of the camera, we will just move them into the center after this. Priority, here we priority go. Priority for turn one. Quite here takes it with That's a six. Well, here's going to take his curse test. Passes. Rolls a five. Barely. Just passes. We're moving them both in, as we said, just for the sake of the camera. But Quai here gets the charge, which means Gulivar does not, which means Gulivar is not going to knock him down. And also means that Gulivar, excuse me, that uh, Guai here's higher fight is going to be important here, too. So we've got three dice from Guai here up against four dice from Gulivar. Um, I am going to call a heroic defense. As you should. So Guai here's going to save his might this time. All right. Tempting to call a heroic strength. Yeah. Really tempting. Here we go. Three dice from Gwai here, four dice from Gulliver. What happens? I get a six. 
Whoa! Woof! Ooh. Two, two, one from Guay here. Should have called a heroic move. So, oh. Guay here is back. All right. Strength eight to defense eight. I actually need fours. Gets one four, a Three. six, and another four. That's pretty beasty. All right, here comes Guay. Here's three fate. This oh. is all three handily. You've done that every single time we've <laughs> played. Is three fate done? So Guay oh. here's fate are out, but he's fine. He's fine. Lord of the Eagles. I'll take that trade. I'll Here take we go. That trade. Yeah, of course you will. Priority. Priority. I got the five. You oh, got the yes. six. So now does Guay here burn a might and take the heroic move? He does not want to be knocked prone. So I think Guay here is going to burn a might. Call the heroic move. They're both down to two might. Mm. What do you say? I'm going to let you have it. So Gulivar is at Courage 4 to Guayhir's Terror. So here's Guayhir's Terror Test. He just needs a 5 to get in. He's handling yeah. it. Successful charge. Um, there is a chance here that Gulivar would fail his Courage checks. But we're not going to take that chance this time. Guayhir could get roasted in one turn if he fluffs this up. And again, Gulivar is going to call Heroic Defense. So this turn, Guayhir is debating about burning a Might on a Heroic Strength. But I think we're going to hang on. We might need that Might for another Heroic move. All right, my three dice to your four. There's uh, well, you're multiple the five, sixes. And you've got multiple sixes. I will might that and make it a six. So uh, will I do that? Or do I let you win? I no, need I fours to, to win. you. Yeah, I'm going to might that. So Guayhir's down to one last might, but he takes the win. So we're both down to one might at this Needing point. natural sixes to wound Gulivar. Gets oh. three fives. Look at that. That would have been lots of wounds, too. Nope, not this time. Not a natural six. That's why heroic defense works. All right, yep. priority. Oh, goes to Guay here. Blast. What do I'm going to let you have it. All right. Takes my charge. Fails his courage check. Spends one will so that he can pass his courage check. And one out of three. He's got more will than he needs for this match. Cool. He'll be fine. All right, my three dice to yours. What are you doing? Ah, uh, heroic defense. Of course. Here is Gulivar out of might. All right. There's the six for Guay here. So he yeah. wins. Now needing natural sixes to wound. You gonna move him? Yep. Looking for natural sixes. Koi here gets one and two fives. This, I mean, if not for heroic defense, Koi would, would be in a whole lot of trouble. He by would now. be dead by now. But he's down one, so that was worth it. We've got one wound out on Gulivar. Down which means three Gulivar attacks. is down to Courage 3 and 3 attacks. So Courage 3 also matters at this it, point. It hurts. <laughs> priority. Let's see what happens. Six. Oh! Do All I right. burn a mite and take the priority from you, or do I take a chance? Oh, dear. I might be the one calling heroic defense. Hmm. I'm going to let you have it and see if you fluff your courage. All right. Courage three, because negative one, because I took a wound. Two dice. Does not fluff that courage, Double that's sixes. for sure. All right, so Bang. he's charging. He has higher strength by a good long shot. I have two dice, so I'm going to call heroic defense this time. Now, Gwai, here's Adamite. All right. I've got four attacks in the charge. I have two, because I did not charge. I get a five high. I got a four high, and I don't have any might for it, so you win. Knock you down. You need natural sixes. Here's the first port. So Gwai here one. is prone, but not marked prone. There's one wound so far. All right, roll again. Just one wound. None. So he would be here very is alive. dead. He's got two wounds left on him. Heroic defense Gulivar again doing his three. job. Yep, heroic defense is proving that. Yeah, that's the MVP trick of the game. So, all right, here we go. Priority. Oh, no. <laughs> Gwai here gets priority on a one. How cheesy is that? All right, here we go. Courage check. All right, he's good. Handily passes his courage check. Gwai here is in. Has no might for any fancy business. But this we're could down very to the well fight now. be it right here. I'm holding off three attacks. Three dice for me, three dice from you. Come on, Gwai here. Oh! Gets his six, so Gwai here wins. Right now, he's strength eight to defense eight, needing fours to wound. Strength seven to defense. Right. Strength seven to defense five. Okay, this is important. On his charge, he'd be up one strength. Um, is he normally strength six? Yeah, he's normally he's strength, strength seven six. on the charge. I'm just wrong. So I need fives. Uh, I'm defense five. You need threes. Oh my goodness, hello. Your strength is eight, your defense is five, so I need threes. Here we go. Oh, yes! Gulliver is not dead. He takes two wounds. He's down to one wound left. So Gulliver has one die. One attack. Here we go. Priority. You've only got two wounds. If I win priority. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so there is a random chance here that he might All not right. be prone. Let's so, just not come let on. that happen. Are you going to pass your courage? courage. Double six. Two. 
Seven. Fails I've his got courage. Three will points. So I'm going to spend like two will points as many as you have to, to make that a nine total plus my you one courage. You cannot afford to not pass this charge. Down so to one will he's left. Got one will left. He does pass he's his in. courage test. I've got two attacks. To my two attacks. You get two Come on. Charge. Big six. Here we go, Goy. Here, get your six. I get a Goy, five. here's stones on oh, ones. Oh, yeah. There That's we go. That's a fluff and a half. All right. So Goy here is prone. Four dice. Needing fours. Two fours to end Goy here. What? No, he gets one six. Quai here is down to one wound. Are you but the kidding? eagle lord persists. Oh. All right, you're going down, Gulliver. That's, <laughs> Priority. Here that's we go. That's the match right there. Oh, okay. Oh, Still in it. Doesn't get it. All right, courage check. Here we go. Double six. On courage one. No. Fails and does not have enough will to make it. Quai here's courage check. Yes! Fails. That's oh. a boring turn. Lucky you. There we go. All right, Let's priority. do it again. They're staring at each other. Oh, man. Those cruel gazes. No. Four. Quai here's priority. Fluff it again. Fluff it again. Fluff it again. No, he's good. Gets a five. Quai here is in on the charge. Last. All right. I have no might to change it, but I get three dice one this dice. time. There we go. Quai here's three to your one. Quai here gets a five high to All your right. five. That was close. You need one three. One three to end Gulivar. Oh, you There's literally only got one. There's the four. Boom. Gulivar is out. The Windlord wins. Victorious. I should have had you there. That was pretty close. Oh. All right. Round one goes to Gwai here. Ding, ding, ding. We need some kind of a war bell or something. That would be Oh, fun. my goodness. That was close. That was very close. That I was should fun. have had you there. <laughs> what did we learn? Heroic Defense is the name of this Heroic game. Heroic Defense literally carried that game. Absolutely that kept Gulabar practically unscathed, and then that one turn, you're just like, yeah, Heroic Defense, and then I just didn't kill you. Well, Heroic Defense saved us both repeatedly. All right, here we go. Round two, set up and ready to go. Priority. All right. There we go. I went first Gulabar's turn. Gulabar's Priority, and you've got Courage 4 this time. All right. Am I going to call it Heroic Move? I might just call it Heroic Defense. No, I'm going to call it Heroic Move. Really? Yep. Dun, dun, dun. All right, Gwai here's going first. Hold up. <laughs> do, 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 ah! do, 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 Don't do that to the camera. They'll get nauseous. <laughs> All right. Are we going or not? In three. In you, two. You can have it. All right. Courage check from Gwai here. Needing a five. He's in. So we'll move them into the middle just to make it easier for you guys to see what's going on. Uh, calling Heroic Defense. Of course. So we both have two might left. Heroic Defense for Gulivar. We've got my three dice to your People four dice. People in the comments, should I have called a Heroic Move? <laughs> Love right. to hear your thoughts. All right, here we go. Let's roll some dice. Four attacks. I get a six. Well, here gets a six. <sighs> Takes it. So Gulivar backs off. We need sixes. Natural sixes to cause a wound. There's one natural six. That's the first wound on Gulivar. All right. By Gwai here. Priority is on the chart. Priority, here we go. Ooh, off the model. Oh, That's me. I'm going to be burning all my might in heroic moves. And you're going to burn all yours in heroic defense, and we'll just duke it out again. Yeah, but I need to not get knocked down, or you can wreck me in one turn. One more on a heroic move. I'm countering. All right, Gulliver is going to counter, so we're both down to one might. Let's see what happens Canadian here. In Canada, most of the time... Unless it's top tables, we'll do where we both roll the dice if it's 50. I know it's That's not true. perfect odds. The rule book but... says, yeah, just we might as well be rule monkeys here. The rule book says that whoever had priority is supposed to roll now to decide yeah. who's going to actually win the heroic move off. Four, five, six, the guy who's rolling takes it. One, two, three, his opponent does. Or unless they decide. Or you play good and evil. Four, five, yeah. six is good, which would be quite here. And one, two, three would be Gulivar. We like to roll off. We find it to be more gentlemanly. So we're both going to roll. We'll see who gets a higher number here. Three to one. Gwai here goes first. I would have won both times. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right, so Gwai here makes the charge. Courage! Oh, of course. Yes, I'll behave myself. Okay. Rolls a seven. He's fine. Acceptable. <laughs> three dice from me, three dice from you. Uh, yes, uh, heroic defense. Yes, as you should. Gulivar is out of might. There's a six. <clears throat> There's your six. Look at my one, oh, yeah. one, two. Eat that one, one, two. Seriously. Let's see some triple fours here. Triple fours. Triple fours. Here comes Gulliver. Sorry, why here's three fate. Can you do three fate passes again? Ooh, there's not two. Quite. There's some natural sixes. It would have been nice if they would have been wounds, but fails one. So why here is down his three fate and, and he took one a wound. wound. 
So he's got two wounds left. Gulivar's got three wounds left. Gulivar is still in the game. Priority. Oh, yeah. Dope. So Gwai here fluffs his priority. You have no might. I can take it from you. I would really like to heroic strength you or something, but I think i got to burn this and make sure that you don't knock me prone. Okay. So Gulivar, sorry, uh, Gwai here spends his last might for a heroic move. Here's his courage check. Passes. Yep. We're into combats. Let's do some dice. So I've got three dice. You've got three dice. Oh my goodness. That's a six. So Gwai here takes Why? the win. Needing threes. threes. That's and there's game. three of them. Gulivar takes it again. Gwai here is two out of three in a row. Gwai here. I like Gwai here. I should have killed you in that first round. Let's do it again. Four dice. Yeah, you would have been dead. I would have been dead. Yep. Oh my you know goodness. what? We're doing two out of three. Gwai here's got his two out of three, but let's do one more round just for the sake of it. Oh! That'll make the video like over 20 minutes. <laughs> we may just not show you this round. All right. Priority. Let's see what happens here. Gwai here takes priority. Heroic move. Nope. This time I'm going to give it to you. So you take the heroic move. Can you charge me? Fails miserably. All right. My courage check. Hold up. Hey, I didn't say I was done. Well, you don't have enough will to make that work. I have might. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going in. Oh, my goodness. All right. Go all here. my will and some of my might. Well, is moved in the middle just for the convenience of the camera here. So all of Gulivar's will has been spent. He is mustering all the courage he could muster. And he's calling a heroic defense with his last might. And how much, yeah, so he's got all of his might burnt out, too. And Gwai here is loaded, but he's only got two dice on this. So here is vulnerable. There's a six. Oh, I should have oh. called heroic defense, too. Come There's my six. On. Gwai here wins. And honestly, at that, I probably would have had to burn all my might to make sure I win, or I would have got Well, you would have been done. Yeah. All right, let's so see. So, I've got two dice needing natural sixes. No. i got a three and a one. That's not going to cut it. Priority. Four goes to here. Courage check passes, so this time I charge you. I'm going to call a heroic strength so that I can knock you prone. Okay. Because I have three dice, so might as well. So I have three, uh, Attack. might. Yeah. Gets a three high! You have two might you can use to win that fight. Yeah, I will. And knock you from. So I got six dice to roll, needing threes. There's the first. I got nothing. Wow! There's justice for you. And I got one wound out of all that. Gulivar is prone. Gwai here has done one wound with all of those dice only needing threes. And he is Barrett. That's stats for you. So, everybody's out of might. Priority. Here's priority. Oh, Gwai here fluffs it. He's gonna stand up. And do nothing more. All right, Gwai here charges. Gets in on the charge handily. Gets three dice to your, what, two this time? Three. Gwai here gets the six. Look at that. Win. Yep. Look at oh, that. Oh, that's a beautiful roll. Three sixes out of Gulliver, but it's not enough. Not every day that a Gulivar is going to have to fight something with higher fight than a Gulivar. Normally but he's fighting stuff is. that's paralyzed. There's three wounds and he's out. from Gwai here. That's the end of Gulivar. After rolling triple beautiful, sixes. Beautiful, beautiful rolls. The For dice no gods no. have spoken. Gulivar cannot take Gwai here. Dun, dun, dun. You know what? He probably could. Easy. With the odds on and all of that. should have destroyed you <laughs> in the first match. <laughs> three out of three. Gwai here Four wins. So Gwai here is moving on and he's going to face a dragon. That'll be a fun match. Thanks so much for watching, Michael Vannon. We will be back again soon.